Yo yo yo, what is up people? Today we have gameplay and interview from some of the games we played when we were at EGX Resed in London. This is going to be an amazing vlog so stay tuned. If you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like button. If you are new around here make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next vlog. So I'm here um, with Helen from Tetra. We're just going to have a quick chat about um, what the game is and where they're going to take it in the future. So before we get into the game, just tell me a bit about yourself and what you do for the business here. Okay, so I'm one of the directors here at Ocean Spark. We're a team of three. Uh, we formed on our second year at university and we've been together as a studio for just over a year making Tetra. Um, so as well as being directors of the company, we all make the art on the game, we do a lot of the visual effects, the storyline, the script writing and the game design as a whole. We do as a team of three. Sweet, so you've made this game, just three of you. That's incredible. Okay, so um, just tell me a little bit about um, what the game is then. Yep, so Tetra is a fantasy RPG. We've taken a lot of inspiration from games like Fable, World of Warcraft, Guild Wars 2. But what makes the game so different is that it's based on the periodic table of elements. Um, so we've got this world that's crafted around different elemental islands. So it follows the base structure of the periodic table. Every island you go to is totally different. Brand new experience, visuals, enemies. But the coolest thing about the game is that each character you unlock is governed by its own element. So we've got characters in the game that are based on magnesium, nitrogen, sulfur, arsenic, and each one of those characters has its own unique ability. And you get to play as a team of three. So when, you pay, uh, when you're playing as these three characters, their elements combine to create new elements, massive spells, explosions, some bad, some good, and you've kind of got to work as your team of three to create spells that will combat certain enemies that have different weaknesses, so it's a really cool concept. It's a huge game for a team of three, but we love making it, so it's come a long way in the past year, and it's really good, we, we love doing it, yeah. Yeah, cool, it looks incredible. Um, so on the side of uh, multiplayer, single player, um, how is that for this game? Okay, so currently it's a single player campaign. It's got a really nice script. It's got a really amazing immersive storyline. Um, when you open the multiplayer can of worms, um, it's kind of, it's gonna lead us down this avenue that at the minute, uh, as a team of three, we just been, wouldn't be able to pull off. There's, there's elements there that could make for some super cool um, online gameplay and multiplayer co-op stuff. Um, which we have looked at and we would love to implement because we know it would be awesome but currently as a team of three it's just something we wouldn't be capable of doing um, so it's something for the future and um, potentially something that when we do get investment we will look at doing but currently yes it's an offline story mode really nice script cool so single player at the moment possible multiplayer in the future so yeah stay tuned um, so we're, we're looking at um, this game on the PC at the moment, so is there any other platforms it's going to be on? Yeah, so currently we're using the Unreal Engine to develop for PC just because it's the easiest. Um, we are looking at porting to pad to see how that works. There are a lot of game mechanics in the game, so we're potentially looking at how games like The Witcher handle all, you know, the gameplay and how they make it work on pad. So it's something we're still working on in development. Uh, we're working closely with how the game works on PC and mouse and keyboard and mouse and how it's going to work on pad. And when we feel like we've got something strong enough, we're then looking at porting it to different consoles. But currently, it's only available for PC. Cool, so uh, you say it's only available for PC. Does that mean it's out yet or is there a release date quite close in the future? So the release date is not close. Um, what is close is the release date for the demo. So we're giving that away for free. Um, we're really interested in getting a, d a community involved in the development of the game. So what we're going to be doing is giving out keys. It's completely free download of the game. It should be an hour to two hours of gameplay. And we're just really interested in what people think, how they think it could be better, what they might change, what they'd love to see in the game in the future and then hopefully when we collect all that feedback that will really influence when we take the, where we take the game from there so that will be ready by the end of May 
Uh, we've got a couple of bugs uh, that we need to get rid of and a couple of other things we want to implement. But all being well, at the end of May, we'll be hitting everyone up with the keys, download it, play it, let us know what you think. Okay, so obviously at the events here, people can sign up for, to get a beta, a beta key. Um, how would um, people that aren't at events be able to get a key off you? Yep, sure. So the game's got its own website, which is playtetra.com. If you go on there, you can just pre-register. All we need is your name and your email address just to show that you're interested. And then we'll just be sending an email out um, using that mailing list or anyone who signs up. And then we'll just be hitting everyone uh, with keys and just download it and play it. Yeah. Cool. So if you want this game, I'll get the link to the website, put it down below so you can click on there, register for the beta uh, so they're going to chuck out. Um, so you've explained the game really well and in depth already, but is there anything else you'd like everyone else to know? Um, really, I'd just like everyone to know that you know we are a small team. We really do need support. We are so invested in making this game, and we know that it can be something really cool. But we're also really excited in how other people can influence how this game develops. So if anyone's interested in kind of getting involved behind the scenes, honestly, get in touch with us, follow the game, play the demo when we send it out there. We're going to be setting up a Discord channel. We're going to be getting everyone involved. And we're really just excited to see where it goes from there and how people can influence how it develops. Yeah. Cool. So as soon as I get all the links and everything to everything they're going to be putting out, everything will be down in the description below. So you can click on that, follow, um, and get involved with the game. So it seems like very, um, like you want it to be sort of a, like a community game so everyone can have their little input as well and change how the game works. Exactly, yeah. Um, I really like that about games and especially when we exhibit at these events we meet a lot of developers and some of them um, have told us you know what you guys are doing is awesome allowing players to kind of have an input in how the game develops but ultimately we're making a game that we want people to enjoy playing and we know the only way to do that is to get feedback at this stage so yeah we're super excited for people to get involved. Cool. So lastly, thank you very much for letting me stop by and I'll speak to you soon.